morning, guys. Um, it's a beautiful day, beautiful morning out here. Sorry about the background noise. There's a, some construction going on over there, and I'm just uh, enjoying the, the beautiful morning. I want to talk about something. Uh, I've actually tried to make this video three, two or three times, and every time I watch it back, it just, it just didn't come off right. So I wanted to make sure before I published this video that I was uh, covering this in an in a, in a informative way uh, and I just want to share my opinion and and some also some friends of mine we, we kind of talk about this quite often actually and I want to I want to talk about do you have enough bow okay now before I get into this I'm gonna try to keep this video pretty short but I'm gonna I want to preface this video by saying something and I want I want I want to be perfectly clear about this before I say anything else Okay, this this video is not intended to criticize anyone. Okay, uh, this is that's not what this is for. This is for information about bow hunting. Okay, um, you know there's a lot of factors in in the in the weight of the bow that you shoot. It's your body type. Uh, do you have any past injuries? Whether it's your shoulder, your elbow, your hand, neck, back, whatever. Uh, those are factors in what weight bow you shoot your age you know uh, we all get to a certain age where you know we, we we're, we're not as strong as we were when we were 25 or 30 years old you know and and so we we kind of we may step down a little bit in weight to make sure that that uh, we can shoot our bow and be effective with it you know this is uh, that's that dictates to me that's what dick should dictate the weight of your bow uh, is is your physical uh, ability to shoot your bow. Um, now, that said, uh, I had a subscriber ask a question about uh, I was shooting a bow uh, in one of my previous videos, and he was, and it was like a 60 pound bow or something like that, 60 at 28 or something like that. And his question was, uh, how long can I practice or how many arrows do I typically practice with? And the second part of his question was, is do I practice with a lighter weight bow and then carry the heavier bow when I'm hunting? All right. Uh, the, the, first, the answer to the first question is, uh, I, the way I typically practice, if, unless I'm like in an RV park or something, because I work out of town a lot, uh, I'll practice for whatever time allows, you know, sometimes uh, 20, 30 minutes, sometimes an hour and a half. Uh, I don't just stand there and shoot arrow after arrow after arrow after arrow. I, I actually try to, uh, I'll take four or five arrows out and put them in my pocket or whatever, and I'll shoot an arrow and, and watch the flight of it, uh, you know, kind of stand there for a minute, can't gather myself, and then I'll shoot another arrow. I don't just stand there and pull arrows and keep just shooting like that because to me, uh, you're kind of flinging arrows at that point. You're not really practicing, concentrating on practice. Uh, so it varies, just d depends. My, my favorite kind of practice is just walking and picking out random targets, you know, dirt clods and flowers and whatever else, and taking a blunt and shooting at that. That seems to be my favorite type practice, okay? The second part of his question was, is do I carry a lighter bow, or do I practice with a lighter bow, and do I carry a heavier one when I'm hunting? I don't do that. I don't, I never do that. To me, that's counterintuitive a little bit. Uh, you want to practice with what you're hunting with. The same arrow, the same bow, same everything, but you know, I use blunts a lot. Uh, uh, so, to me, practicing with a 40 pound bow and then you go pick up a 60 pound bow and go hunting uh, it doesn't seem that to me just in my mind that doesn't seem like a good good idea because what what happens is is you're shooting a 40 pound bow and your mind's eye especially if you're an instinctive shooter your mind's eye is coordinated with that particular arrow flight and things like that and then you pick up a heavier bow it's going to be different you, the trajectory of the arrow is going to be different so you may feel like that you're right on the target when you shoot but uh, you know the point of impact is going to be different so 
Uh, I hope I've answered that question. Um, now, the name of this video is, is do you have enough bow? Uh, I made a video a year or so ago, a year and a half ago or whatever, talking about basically don't overbow yourself because what you're doing, uh, if, if, if you're only able to shoot a 50 pound bow, don't go buy a 70 pound bow because you got a deal on it. Uh, you, you, you're not, you're, it's not going to be a good experience. You're going to be overbowed. You're going to teach yourself some bad habits and so on and so forth. And I talked about that pretty extensively in that, in that other video. Uh, what I am going to talk on this video, what I'm going to talk about is, is, is barring, not barring anything. I firmly believe that when you're bow hunting, especially big game, I firmly believe that you should shoot the heaviest bow that you can manage effectively. Okay? If 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 your body will allow you to shoot a 50, 55, 60, 65 pound bow, when you go in the woods to, to chasing deer or hogs or varmints or whatever it is you're going after. I feel I, I personally feel like that you should you should be shooting at that bow. Uh, what spurred me on to this a little bit is I see a, a little. If it feels like to me in some of the forums and some of the, the YouTube videos and some of the the, the uh, Facebook posts and things like that, I think some some of the the newer bowmen or bow ladies. Uh, that are getting into the sport or be even been doing it a while they've they've gotten kind of on a trend of uh you know you if you take a 40 pound bow or 42 pound bow or whatever uh that you're being more accurate with it uh, and and that's all you need to hunt with the person that's that's doing that may or may not but if, if they're able to shoot a 50 pound or a 55 pound or even a 60 pound bow, but they're shooting up, they order, or they, they're shooting a 40 or 42 pound bow, to me, that's also counterintuitive. Uh, obviously, a 40 pound bow or a 42 pound bow with the right arrow, a hunting weight arrow, and, and a good sharp broadhead is absolutely unquestionable about it being a deadly weapon to hunt with. Now your range uh, may may be affected a little bit, just just from an energy standpoint. Uh, I don't, you know, we all know that at 20, 20 steps, a forty pound bow with a you know four hundred fifty grain arrow versus a fifty five pound bow and a five hundred fifty or six hundred grain arrow. The, the 600 grain arrow is going to have a lot more has is going to have more energy at the same 20 yards so i think you should take advantage of that especially when you're hunting you know animals uh, there's been tons and tons of animals taken with a 40 pound bow and i'm just using 40 pounds per perspective okay i'm jumping back and forth between 40 and 60. uh me personally a, a what i consider and this is just my opinion what I consider a, a, a lightweight bow is 50 pounds and down. Uh, a, a medium weight is 50, 50 pounds to about 65 pounds. That's about medium. And then anything above 65 pounds, I kind of, just me, I consider that a heavier heavyweight bow. Uh, again, whatever your physical ability will allow you to shoot effectively that's what you need to work with and that's what you need to hunt with okay i know i'm reiterating myself but if you're able to shoot a 50 or 55 pound bow i would never take a 40 pound bow in the woods the, the confusion that i was talking about earlier is there is a uh, kind of a a movement out there if you will a little bit where these people are taking taking 40, 42 pound bows and they're going to these uh, 3D tournaments and things like that and they're shooting uh, targets. 
okay? Uh, they're, they're shooting uh, a static type draw and anchor where they're standing and holding and holding and holding and holding and, and shooting at targets. Uh, and the only way that they're able to achieve that is to shoot a 40 or 42 pound bow or a 45 pound bow or whatever. That's the way they're able to achieve that. Typically in a hunting situation, not typically, uh, in hunting situations, in, in my experience, you don't get a lot of opportunities to hold at a, at a static draw at the ranges that we hunt at. If there's an animal t t 5 or 10 yards or 15 yards, that's very close to that animal. So the opportunity, the window to shoot the animal is generally pretty short. Uh, and there's all kinds of situations. I, part of this trend or, or movement is some people are equating target shooting is the same as, as hunting. Now back in the old days when they used to have like, and I'm sure they still do have them, uh, what they call field archery. Uh, decades and decades ago this was a very very popular thing and the people the, the, the people that would go out and they would shoot these round targets with tin rings in the center you know and they would shoot for points and a lot of times they were shooting at long distance uh, you know <coughs> 50 yard, 50 yards or more and these start then these target archers were shooting uh, 35 40 pound bows with lightweight arrows and, and and they you know were more or less using that static type shooting style at the same time some of these participants in these targets back in those uh, target matches back in those days were bow hunters some of them were and they even knew that whenever they went in the woods they left the lightweight bow at home and they took a heavier weight bow into the woods to hunt with uh, because of the energy and everything associated with that uh, What, what I see online, just from my observation, is people are ordering custom longbows and recurves, and they're ordering these bows at like 42 pounds at 30 inches, okay? Now, if you drop, take two pounds or three pounds, two or three pounds per inch off of that for somebody that's got a 28 inch draw weight, now you're talking about a 37 pound bow, 36 or seven pound bow, okay? To me, if you're able to shoot a 55 pound, 50 or 55 pound or even 60 pound bow, you're unnecessarily handicapping yourself when you go in the woods. Uh, I just don't see the, the logic behind that. If I get, when I get to the age where I have to drop down in weight to where I'm shooting a 45 pound bow, my range is gonna be about 10 or 15 yards, max, okay? Uh, I, I, I hope that that is a long ways away, but you know, I'm, I'm older now, you know, I'm getting, I'm almost 60 years old. And at some point, I'm not gonna be able to shoot the bows that I'm shooting now, uh, but I would encourage people before you wait six months or a year or 18 months or something like that on a custom bow that you spend seven, eight, nine hundred or a thousand dollars on because the idea in your head is, is that if I get a 42 pound bow, I'll be extremely accurate with it. Uh, and then when you get the bow, you at 20 or 25 yards or whatever, you're a little underwhelmed with the performance and then you put the bow up for sale and now you're, you're, you're wanting something a little heavier. Now you got a brand new bow basically that's online for sale. I would recommend, if possible, it be patient and look online because I do it all the time. I, I've done it for years. Uh, be patient look at the classifieds, look online, things like that, borrow one, whatever. Sometimes you can find a deal on a bow that's in a particular weight group, you know, uh, that that would shoot, or that, that, that you wanna try, that you're not buying a brand new bow or waiting a year, year and a half or whatever for this bow. 
uh, there are there's lots of options out there that are much much less expensive uh, than a custom bow that you're not satisfied with or not happy with because that you were listening to this trend that you need to be shooting all you need to hunt with is a 40 pound bow uh, there's even some production bows out there that you can get pretty readily easily for you know a, a pretty reasonable price and you can get one in the in the in the weight range that you you think that you need or want. Uh, I would I would go that route before I went and ordered a custom bow, buy a used bow, borrow a bow from somebody, see if someone will lend you one for a few days or whatever, offer to pay, uh, you know, whatever. But just try try kind of try before you buy. So uh, th this is. This is, like I said, this is just my opinion, and I certainly don't want to, I don't want, ever want to alienate anybody or, or think that that I'm criticizing someone for shooting a 40 pound bow. If that's what you're physically able able to shoot and and whatever, because of age or injuries or whatever, then more power to you, and I'll be the first one to to be tracking your animal for you. Uh, but I certainly don't want anybody to be disappointed when they get their new bow uh, with the performance of it. And I certainly don't want anybody to, you know, uh, feel like that they can't go out and enjoy archery. Uh, but there is a big difference between target archery and hunting. There really is a big difference to me. There is. Uh, some of these guys that are that are 3D tournament archers shooting uh, lighter weight bows with these the static shooting style and they are tremendous archers they are extremely accurate uh with with those bows and accuracy is a very 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 important uh thing whenever you're hunting okay uh but i, I think unnecessarily handicapping yourself is not a good idea either so uh, i hope that that, that this makes you think a little bit and if you have any questions please get in the comments down there and uh, I'll be happy to try to help anyone uh, if, if you have a question about your draw weight or your draw length or arrows or something like that I can give you a general idea a starting point if you will uh, you know I'll try to do my best to do that and try to help you uh, like I, I've always said in many many videos if I don't know the answer I bet I know someone that does uh, or get you get you close anyway so uh, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos and, and I just want to share my thoughts on that and I really my goal is is for people to enjoy their bows, enjoy target shooting, enjoy their hunting and get the most out of it and be very happy with you know the way their equipment performs for them. Uh, I've said it in some of my other videos too uh, here in Texas you know uh, we do a big hog hunt year round and stuff like that. And if you want to test your equipment, uh, I think you can pretty well find online somewhere a pretty reasonable priced hog hunt somewhere. If you want to test your equipment, go go start sticking arrows in some of them hogs uh, and see what see what kind of results you get. Uh, even heavy heavyweight bows sometimes have a little trouble uh, with an arrow that's not quite placed very well even if it is placed very well you may have a hard time finding him so uh anyway i hope you guys are enjoying these videos and and if there's anything that i can do uh for you or whatever please comment and share these videos guys because uh, i enjoy making this content for you uh, so you guys have a great day and i'm going to try to enjoy the rest of this morning get me another, another cup of coffee and and i'll see you guys on the next video